Hi everybody. This is going to be just a, like a quick tutorial right here how to program uh, the different buttons of uh, this control panel into Mac 3 screen. So you can use it uh, for uh, your uh, Mac 3 uh, controller or program for uh, controlling your CNC router or CNC uh, laser or whatever. Uh, anyway, I'm building uh, this uh, uh, this project uh, and this is just a quick uh, tutorial about the programming itself but you want to watch uh, how I build the cabinet and uh, you know how I'm putting everything together you can check out my other videos on uh, uh, you know the laser uh, cutter build that I'm uh, making you want to check those uh, 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 videos I appreciate that um, anyway um, uh, but this uh, is gonna be about just uh, how to uh, uh, configure your uh, Mac 3 screen to the wiring of these uh, buttons through the IPAC uh, 2 arcade controller. So uh, let's do it. Okay, one of the things that uh, we have to do uh, to be able to uh, assign uh, the different uh, letters or codes, uh, key codes on that IPAC 2 uh, we have to go to uh, the IPAC uh, connections uh, page and that's the first one that pops out there and uh, as you can see there's a chart right here uh, a table and uh, on the card itself it's got all these names uh, already uh, you know printed there on, on the card and these are the uh, different uh, key uh, functions assigned to each one of them. And with this chart, you can, uh, for example, if you select uh, start one right here, it, it, it'll be the number one assigned to it. Uh, but if you select, for example, uh, the one B, uh, then it'll be enter. And you might not want that or uh, switch four uh, it'll be left shift and you might not want that for the uh, purposes that we're going to use this uh, card uh, for uh, to integrate Mac 3 uh, and assign the different buttons to it so this is where you can if you're having trouble to connect um, or uh, you know it's just not doing what it's supposed to when you assign uh, a pin of the car to uh, to the buttons that you're using, then uh, you come here to this chart, and then you can see if you're not selecting a tab or escape or uh, something. Which one is the letters or the numbers? And with that, then it's possible to start programming uh, these key uh, codes into uh, Mac 3 screen. And that's what I'm going to show you next. Okay, uh, I'm going to try show you how to program the uh, different uh, uh, inputs from these buttons into Mac 3. And as you can see, this is the uh, the final uh, design that I did here on this control panel. So let um, me go ahead and turn on the computer. All right. So, uh, uh, it's not, all, these buttons uh, are not connected, the, uh, uh, the switch over there is not connected, this pad's not connected because it doesn't reach, but, uh, I don't know what's going on here, uh, this run out of charge or something. I don't know what happened to that one. Uh, I'm just gonna have to wait until I does it. Okay. That uh, means I don't have a keyboard. Anyway, uh, let's wait for this thing to boot up. Okay. All right. Now let's uh, open. I'm gonna open Mac 3 screen first. Well, as soon as I can. 
doing something that it doesn't allow it to. Yeah, this one was the touch screen, you know, uh, that I uh, that I got for. I don't know why it takes so long, but there you go. Oh, it's turning on the uh, uh, what is that? The uh, the network card, and it takes a little while. Okay, so my three screen. There you go. There's some files missing because uh, I got a BMP image right here that I didn't I didn't load into the uh, the file there, and it's not uh, it's not uh, locating it. So anyway, so this is the editor for Mac Three, and with this editor you can move the buttons around and change the names and what have you. So uh, one of the first things that we're going to do is we're going to go to page zero right here. And on this page is the reset uh, command there. And if I click on it, you know, uh, the description of uh, the hotkey right here on this is uh, the number six. See so if I double click on it and select it, and I use this for reset, it's gonna put uh, whatever uh, code it was, uh, um, the, this particular switch was uh, uh, wired into the pin for that particular place on the card. So in this case, uh, the hotkey is six. So now I can go back, because this is like the global thing, uh, the reset is on the zero page. So now we're gonna have to go to page one and if I want to program cycle start, which I kind of like put it in the same place right here, uh, I'm going to use this switch right here for that. And I come here to the hotkey and double click on it. And I just uh, push this button and it'll assign the number five to it. And, and that's it. And uh, the same with uh, all other keys. Yeah, I already done it. So you know you can see that it is x on that case and if i come here to stop uh, the hot key would be c and i just press on it it puts the same key but i can't program any button to that particular um, command so uh, and i do the same with uh, x y z go to z which are the buttons that i have here x y z go to z and then uh, these joysticks are programmed into the uh, uh, Mac 3 program itself. Uh, I don't have to do that here on uh, Mac 3 screen. Uh, but uh, I've got uh, one of the things that I kind of wanted uh, on that other control that I did. I, I needed the, uh, uh, what is that, the, the feed rate. Uh, I wanted to put buttons uh, kind of like uh, resembling the feet up and down and the reset because I didn't include the reset on, on the other uh, uh, control panel. But right here, it's the same thing. You know, it's just come here and select the hotkey. And then this is the uh, uh, down. So this one is uh, the key is L. And we come here to the uh, increase the feed and the hotkey is J, so right here J, of course, because I've already done it. And of course the reset is, uh, the hotkey is number one, and that's it. So now once you do that, then uh, you come here and save it, right? In this case, I already saved this as the CMD CNC router set, right? And it's already saved there. We can like minimize it leave it there then now we, we can come here and uh and open mac 3 and once it opens mac 3 it says uh disabling joystick uh, fails configuration test check connections and uh, restart the program I, I don't know why it's doing that but let's see if this is oh the reset okay uh, it is working it is working. I don't know why it says that. But I go to Z. It'll go to Z. There you go. Now, uh, okay. 
So now let me show you. I'm gonna open or load a G code, which I, I got a test code right here, and I'm gonna open it. And with this one, I can start the code, right? And I can hold it. And it takes, uh, you know, a few steps to hold it. And if I start it again, then I can stop it real quick. It stops right on, right? It, when it holds, it takes a couple of instructions and then it holds the, uh, the feed. But if you stop it, it'll uh, stop it right away. So this is the reset. The problem that I'm having with these uh, uh, switches, this, these are not micro switches, it's just push, uh, push switches, push on switches. Uh, they got a lot of bounce on them. And uh, sometimes it just, uh, it takes a couple of, uh, you know, the presses for the computer to recognize that it's not bouncing, right? Because it might just turn it on and off at the same time or very close uh, timing there. Anyway, uh, so as you can see, I can zero and I can uh, move the joystick. Now, let me show you how the joysticks are programmed into the uh, Mac 3. So you come here to configuration and you come here to uh, uh, system hotkeys. First of all, you have to um, allow it. Um, allow it to uh, use a joystick in this case you come here to uh, uh, plug in control and activate the joystick right here uh, and you configure the uh, joystick uh, control my X and Y axis and it is the joystick is on right so you come here and then you uh, save the settings every time you do something to it. And uh, now you can come here to home uh, to system hotkeys and here where the X plus plus is. Uh, this is the X plus that way so you just press on it and, and it selects the code 71 there right. Uh, same with X minus and then you just come here and select the code 68 there same with the Y you know it's just assigned to it Y plus and then Y minus also selected and same with the Z uh, that's the plus so go up on it I don't remember if it's up or down but anyway I just do it this way and down and it, it assigns a uh, uh, it assigns a, 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 a code to it. Once uh, you assign it, then just uh, say OK. Come here to configure and save settings. And it's already there. Now, whenever you do a change on uh, Mac 3 screen here, then you have to come back here to view and load a screen. And uh, this is the screen that I was working on. That one. You open it, and load it, and it, it, whatever change you make on Mac 3 screen, then it'll, uh, mm, what is that? Uh, uh, then it'll update it here on the program. So, as you can see, I got, uh, I configure this, uh, you know, make the buttons bigger. And actually, I like the low button on top and the close button on the bottom, so I have to change that. Maybe I can do that right now. And, uh, take advantage of this opportunity to to do it right let me see I have to uh, I'm gonna set it right there for right now and then I'm gonna maybe put it right there and then let me move this back it's kind of awkward right here with the mouse right there on this side so I'm gonna change Kind of the position there of these things. I think you can align this, and it, but I need the keyboard for that. So you can probably can align it with these commands right here. Align to the right, align to the left, or whatever. Anyway, uh, once you do the uh, move, then uh, you save it. And it's already saved, and now we can minimize it. And now we come here and come here to view and load the screen 
and reload this uh, view and now it's gonna switch it see now I can load the code there and I can close it and I can uh, load it test code and there it is it's open 0x 0y 0z and cycle start Let's start the cycle okay I want to hold it it's being held start again stop it right when if you press reset you know for some reason then you can either do it here on the screen or on the button right sometimes a touch screen will uh, will stop working in the middle of, uh, of whatever you're doing and that's why you should have a physical switch in it not only the uh, you know the uh, the, the uh, touch screen uh, switches then otherwise uh, or the keyboard right so but once you do this programming on the buttons then you cannot use the same uh, keys uh, right here on the keyboard to do this function so it's either the keyboard or the buttons right so that's why this control panel is is uh, made like that so but uh, this is basically it that's how you uh, program uh, all these little buttons into it the reset button is also wired uh, physically but through the uh, uh, through the uh, uh, CNC controller uh, you wire it directly to the card and it activates this uh, this uh, request uh, for a e-stop uh, uh, button, right? So this is it, this is how it works. I uh, hope uh, you can find this, uh, uh, what is that, uh, useful. Maybe you wanna do something like this and, uh, and you wanna like control your machine with uh, joysticks, it's very easy. Uh, it's uh, better than the keyboard and uh, it makes it look like uh, <laughs> maybe one of those uh, professional machines right <laughs> maybe anyway uh, thank you very much for watching uh, appreciate uh, you tuning my channel and I will see you next uh, next time next video bye bye